Welcome to the first ever Exhibitors Fast Forward. I applaud every single brave soul in this room right this minute. <laughs> but mostly, mostly I applaud the exhibitors because they're the ones up here laying it all out on stage for you. So in recent years, we've tried really hard to integrate what our exhibitors have to offer with some of our juried and curated content. We've had exhibitor session talks for about eight years now. Um, obviously, we have tech talks on the trade show floor. Um, and this is an opportunity to bring the exhibitors directly to you, one to many, uh, to talk about what they have to show. It's a bit of a sneak peek. Uh, who's from the media? Really? Just, just a few. What we used to do, no, I, I wasn't checking your badge. <laughs> Thank you for verifying that, though. Um, what we've done in the past sometimes for the media is they'll get on the show floor maybe half an hour early and get to see three or four booths. It's a little bit of a sneak peek. But it's not, it's only a tiny taste of all that the show floor has to offer. So we wanted to give you a much bigger sneak peek of what to expect when the show floor opens tomorrow. So once you go down there, once the doors open, you have a bit of a, a better understanding as to who you want to see and what you're seeing. Unlike like many of our other sessions where we have some guidelines around shameless promotion, this is all about shameless promotion. Own it. Um, who has been to the technical papers fast forward session? It was last night. All right, great. So you're familiar with the format, which is your presenters get up, shamelessly tap dance for X amount of seconds, off they go, slides auto advance, next person comes up behind them. Um, this is the first time we've ever done this, so um, we're looking forward to feedback from both our attendees and our exhibitors on how to continue better connecting our attendees with our uh, partners on the trade show floor. So, everyone ready? Off we go. Hello everyone, I'm Doug Twillier, I'm the software CT of ZSpace, and this is what we do. Slowly. The exciting thing about ZSpace at this stage is it encourages a thought process of problem solving that is innovative across platforms. This is a big change. This is like the change from, from DOS to a to a That's what this is like. This is like you know, pinch and zoom and swipe, you know, what a, just what a significant change that was to the way people use computers. Here's the next one, and it's, it's right here in front of us, and uh, you should come see it. Come visit us and check out my tech talk tomorrow morning on the show floor. <laughs> All right, I'm Danny Seitz from Avere Systems. Uh, you'll see a short video about us, uh, our NAS technology for shared storage and then come see us at booth 227 tomorrow. Thank you. Flash, virtualization, and cloud. These three paths have created the future of data storage, producing a storage network that's fast and efficient, flexible and scalable, global and responsive. Where those paths intersect, you'll find Avere Systems. Our FXT series edge filer, built on a Veer A3 architecture, brings this future firmly into the present. Hi. I'm Miguel Arias. I'm CEO of Prefixa, and we're introducing tomorrow a uh, pre-launch on one render a new render engine in the cloud. So we are bringing uh, to you a new uh, technology to accelerate rendering. Uh, and you can have access from web uh, applications and other tools that we are also introducing our partners tomorrow. We invite you to, to visit us tomorrow at booth 8 Five one. Thank you. This year, the French booth shows off 12 companies, startups, and research labs. They represent various innovations in different topics, such as augmented reality, generative art, 3D web applications. 
video-based facial pre-capture, 360-degree videos, 5D tangible surfaces, 3D crowd simulation, 3D rendering, visual effects, and 3D printing. Step up by our booth and discover awesome French content creation. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. No. All right. <laughs> I'm Elliot Mack with Lightcraft Technology. And what we'll show you is some of our Prevision real-time visual effects system, hopefully. All right. So what you're seeing here is real-time handheld camera and lens tracking, real-time keying, real-time 3D rendering, including lens distortion, real-time compositing, and data recording. And the model is, in fact, a 3D reconstruction of the Great Wall of China done with uh, DSLR photographs. Uh, this is the onset uh, technology used for such shows as Once Upon a Time, Pan Am, and V. And uh, come by our booth and see if you want to see this, if you want to save a lot of money in your visual effects. Hello, I'm Adam Kane from ForgeFX Simulators. Hey, everybody. Come on over and check out ForgeFX's booth and try your hand at one of our 3D training simulators like the one you're seeing right here. This is a virtual electric rope shovel training simulator, one of our latest projects. ForgeFX specializes in the development of custom 3D training simulators for a number of different industries, including mining, aviation, pharmaceutical, and insurance. Training simulators let operators learn how to operate complex pieces of equipment and master spatial relations in a safe, controlled, and risk-free virtual environment. Our simulators help lower the costs associated with real-world training by reducing the amount of costly consumables like fuel and allowing important pieces of equipment to stay up and running instead of taking them offline for training purposes. Hi everyone, I'm Lane Howard from Vancouver Film School, and here is a sneak peek for us, what's to come. Cebu 332. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Dominic from Esri, and I have just one question for you. Do you know Mapman? Come on, he's a superhero. He's been around for 40 years and landed now the first time here at Seacraft 2013 for the entertainment industry. If you want to see his GIS superpowers and explore it by yourself, visit us at Booth 211 or visit us online at esri.com slash entertainment. Who wanna have the shirt? Hi everybody, we are the co-founders of Cobalt Character Animation, Bernhardt and Sarah Richter. We develop plugins for Cinema 4D. Design your own characters with over 600 morphs. Animate your characters through inverse kinematic and forward kinematic. Or use Microsoft's Kinect as your motion capture system. We will also raffle a piece of cinema history at our boot number 604, a flipbook of 1893 showing the train arrival. Visit us at boot number 604. Thank you. See you tomorrow. <laughs> so, hi. Um, <clears throat> reach into your pocket and pull out your phone. 
you're holding one, if not several, of the 21 billion, yes, billion CPUs and 300 million GPUs that our customers shipped of our processors. So, uh, from smartphones and telephones, tele tablets to smart TVs, jeez, um, <laughs> that's why this is live. So, uh, refrigerators, servers, everything, we're ARM and we're the architecture of the digital future. So if you're into computational photography, GPU computing, uh, augmented reality, or any of the advanced things your phones, come see us at booth 357. We're the most important technology company you've never heard of. Thank you. Okay, this is Kyung Rock from Silicon Arts. Silicon Arts provides a ray tracing GPU solution. We are launching a development kit that allows developers to create various ray tracing contents on real-time basis. The dev kit is optimized in Altera, Stratix 5, and Area 5 FPGA boards where Silicon Arts ray tracing GPU cores are ported in. So this is a snapshot of images rendered by the dev kit. You will see clear reflection, refraction, and shadow effects which are generated on real-time basis. And for more information, please visit booth number 150. Thank you. Hi, I'm Benoit from Blink, and we are presenting Black Ink. It's a non-realistic, GPU-powered painting application that, unlike many others, doesn't try to mimic traditional tools. We have a unique brush system that allows you to create any behavior and offers true and original computer-based creation. We render everything on the GPU, so speed and comfort are incredible, even on a very high resolution. You can go 4, 8, 12K, and uh, you can visit our booth and see it in action. So please visit, and we'll be very happy to show you more. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Imogen Morehouse from Vicon Motion Systems, booth 711. At SIGGRAPH 2013, we are pleased to announce the launch of our Vicon Cara head-mounted capture and tracking system. This will be shown live, for live performance on our performance capture stage. Cara is a three-dimensional capture and tracking system consisting of four small, high-definition, high-speed cameras, a wirelessly controlled logger, and a custom-designed head rig with comfort and performance of the actor at the heart of the design. Live system control and post-processing software complete the package. So please join us on booth 711 and see Cara in action. Thank you. BZB Pro Smart Skitter automates the rigging and skinning process, saving companies 110 hours and $6,600 per character. We've asked animators from all over, what would you do with an extra 110 hours and $6,600? Here are the top five responses. Number five, load up Mountain Dew and play World of Warcraft. Number four, wait in line for the iPhone 7. Number three, build a shrine to Star Trek Lieutenant Uhura. Number two, hack into Netflix to delete the sequel to The Matrix, and number one, buy a DeLorean to go back in time and warn George Lucas about Jar Jar Binks. Try, BZ, try BZB Pro Smart Skinner located at booth 843 and tell us what you would do with an extra $6,600, 110 hours. Gargoyles love the Seagull Library. Give me quality triangles! Fill me up with tetrahedra. Punch me holes for my piercings. Deform my wings. It also works for the Stanford bunny. <laughs> Woo! Virtual reality, bitches. Right. All right, we're uh, from WorldViz, and we do uh, immersive uh, in big space, walking, jumping, running style virtual reality. 
in a full construct that renders in real time as you're actually doing it. Here you see Felix, our guy, in a dojo that we constructed, completely immersed, uh, popping balloons. We're working on the Kill Bill Samurai sword fighting thing right now, but for now, come on by at Space 142 and check out the future. That's what's up. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sarah Lazari. I'm here from New York University, the School of Continuing and Professional Studies. We offer a Master of Science in Advanced Digital Applications. This program, which is also known as CADA, is well known within the industry for its high level work and it's known for producing very well trained graduates. We offer studio based coursework, which includes working on plenty of real world projects. Student professional credits include many film and television studios, as well as credits in the fields of education, production, publishing, and visualization. So who are we looking for? We are looking for visual storytellers, transmedia creatives, and creative technologists. Please come visit us in booth 853 for more information. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Mike Braco. I'm with Integrated Media Technologies out of North Hollywood, California. And we design, build, and deploy infrastructure for studios. What you see here is a stereoscopic theater that we built for a client that does 2D to 3D conversions. You may have seen some of the films that they worked on, like Avengers, Captain America. We also built DreamWorks Television Animation Studio in Sherman Oaks, California. Uh, we, in addition, we built Leica Studios uh, animation infrastructure up in Portland, Oregon. Uh, we also built a new studio for Henson Productions in Hollywood, uh, both their motion capture infrastructure uh, and their render infrastructure. So if you're a studio owner and you need to build out your studio, please come visit us in booth 847. Thank you very much. We all know that the evolution of a dinosaur not only takes time, but it's a complex process in 3D design just like in nature. But what if we could create things together? I'd like you to invite to try and also help us improving the next step in 3D evolution. Leopold is a free online co-creation based 3D sculpting experience. So come to our booth or just get online, try Leopoli and you can get your old 3D printed copy of your design. And hope to talk to you about the future of digital creation. Thanks. Hi there, I'm Dave Forrester, CEO of Lightworks. We are the world's biggest provider of rendering technology into the design community. Uh, but my guess is most of the audience has never heard of us. Uh, so myself and some of the team have flown all the way from England to try and change that. Uh, we're here to tell you about who we are, what we do, uh, and show, us, show you some of our products. We're also very excited today to have announced an exclusive arrangement with NVIDIA. Uh, and again, we'd like to tell you more about that. We're really excited about it. Come by booth 154 and we'll try and excite you guys too. Hi, I'm Alan Bergwam with Advanced Micro Devices. At the AMD booth, 
uh, we'll, be, we'll be demonstrating our AMD Fire Pro graphics cards. They're actually the only graphics cards available that truly support PCI Gen 3, so they can drive extreme 4K workflows. We'll actually have six monitors driven from a single card. That's over 4 million pixels from a single card. Uh, we'll have a number of partners. We'll have Adobe, Autodesk, uh, Maximo, Cesium, a number of others demonstrating open cell technology so that you can actually use the cards for compute as well as graphics. And if that's not enough to give you to the booth, we're going to give away a whole bunch of stuff. We'll give away some graphics cards. We'll have a game with our partner Optus. And if you come and register the booth, we'll let you know about some special SIGGRAPH pricing from Dell and AMD workstations that you can buy. Thanks. Hi, my name is Peter Bush. I'm with a company called Faceware Technologies. We offer uh, markerless facial motion capture hardware and software. At Seagraph this year, we're going to be debuting, and you can try out our real-time facial motion capture software called Faceware Live. Works from any camera video source, can be applied to any digital character. We're also going to be debuting a piece of hardware that integrates the GoPro camera for facial motion capture, a lot more cost-effective uh, cost solution. Uh, and you can check out the latest versions of our tracking and solving software, what we call Analyzer and Retargeter, which is a plug-in into Autodesk products. Uh, while we don't have uh, puppy burritos at our booth, we do have some pretty exciting technology. Be sure to blow your mind at booth 809. Thank you. Hello, my name is John Martin. I'm with Reillusion. Reillusion is a 2D and 3D animation software company. We developed the products Crazy Talk and iClone. Um, Crazy Talk was just awarded Best of uh, Macworld, Best of Show for character and facial animation. This is designed for being able to do uh, on your iPad, on a desktop as well. Uh, for iClone 5, we have a complete suite of real-time animation tools that are ready for you to be able to import any of your characters and quickly use our animation tools uh, to retarget onto our bone rig and then be able to develop character animation from facial to body with human IK uh, solving as well directly on into other game uh, engines, Unity, and more. Um, for students in the classroom, our software is also available at various different levels. We invite you to our booth at uh, booth 771 and hope to see you there for a demo. Thank you. Hi, you guys, and welcome to SIGGRAPH. I'm Allison from Green Button. Nice to see you. Hope we see you all at our booth number uh, 861. So it's a time when everybody is really looking to access as many cost-effective resources as they can, but still stay competitive out there. Green Button enables you to access as many compute resources as you need, when you need them, and render more in just a fraction of the time so that you can hit those deadlines that you need to hit. And ultimately, you only pay for the processing time that you use. So we hope to see you. We've got great t-shirts, but we want to hear a little bit about what you're doing um, and see how we can help you out. Have a great show. We provide all the power without the pain. Come by and get your t-shirt, 861. Hi guys, I'm Tristan. What we bring here from Beijing is our full body motion capture system. We use 17 sensors like this. This big, wider sensors to capture full body motion. And there are 10 for upper body and seven for lower body. It's real time, and this is the raw data we render by using Maya. Our company name is Neutem, which is the backspelling of motion. Search us on YouTube. Thank you. Hi, I'm Colin Urquhart from Dimensional Imaging. This is what's going on in our booth right now. Uh, we've got a brand new higher resolution 3D camera system we're showing for the first time at Seagraph this year. So we use multiple video cameras to capture the facial performance. We recover a 3D model per frame using passive stereo. So no markers, no makeup, no structured light. A very simple capture system. And then we're able to apply a customer supplied template mesh to one frame in the sequence, then track it through the performance. So it's a very effective way of recovering very high definition facial performance. Why use markers to capture everything but dimensional imaging? Hope to see you on booth 815. Cheers.
Hello, everybody. My name is Gary Fudge. I'm the sales director for the Americas for MCOR Technologies. MCOR Technologies is a 3D printer company. We're based out of Ireland. We have a revolutionary new technology that allows you to use standard office copy paper as the main consumable for your printer. You just load it up with regular office copy paper and you're on your way. It prints in full color. You might recognize that face. Uh, it, it, uh, one of the big values to the system as well is because you're using uh, standard office copy paper, you print at a fraction of the cost. I invite you all to come by our booth at 762 and get a part in your hand and see what we can do for you. Thanks. Hi, I'm Paul Salvini, CTO of Christie, and Christie's delighted to be once again a platinum sponsor here at SIGGRAPH. Got all kinds of fun, great high-end displays at the show. You can see our digital cinema projectors all week long at the Electronic Theater. And if you come to Christie booth 159, you'll see all kinds of new products like an uh, immersive hollow station. We've got a new quad HD 60 hertz interactive flat panel and the world's first and only 4K 120 hertz uh, projector. And if you go to the NVIDIA booth, you're gonna be able to explore the field of projection mapping, and we bring a one-fifth Audi scale model to life. See you there. Greetings from British Columbia. My name is William Fox. I'm the managing director for trade and investment on behalf of British Columbia, based out of Palo Alto. We are very pleased to be here in booth 565. You'll find the friendliest and most creative Canadians there. We are looking forward to hosting SIGGRAPH 2014. Come by, learn a little bit about what's going on in our uh, events there. And we are very happy to have a packed uh, house at our theater in the booth with uh, the likes of ILM and uh, MPC. We'll be talking about the Lipa Pi. So we welcome you all there. We're gonna be handing out some keychains with the little moose uh, for bottle opener. So we look forward to giving this out to the first thousand of you that show up. Thank you. Canadians are tall. That was a teeny tiny fraction of what you can expect to see on our show floor starting tomorrow morning when we open at 9.30 a.m. Hopefully it gave you a bit of a head start on how to plan your next few days in the show floor. And we would love to hear some of your feedback on offering venues like this to give our attendees and our exhibitors a chance to better connect. Uh, tomorrow morning, 9.30 a.m., the glorious mayhem begins down on the show floor. Thank you so much.